This is Shelly Crabb coming to you live on SNN Live at the LD Micro Main Event in Bel Air, California, 2014. I have with me Seth Yakutin, Invion, ladies and gentlemen, publicly traded company in Australia, and the symbol is IVX. Seth, welcome to SNN Live one more time. Thanks very much for having me, Shelly. It's always a pleasure to be here with you. Good to have you. Thank Let's you. talk. Overview on Invion. Well, Invion is a clinical stage company that uh, is public in Australia. We have uh, three ongoing phase two clinical trials. Uh, we have a biologic construct, which is called INV103, uh, that we currently have in a phase two A clinical trial in lupus. We expect to have data reporting out on that trial in the first quarter of 2015. We have a, a second compound, which is called INV102, which is an oral form of the drug Natalol, which we're repurposing for use in the lung. We have that currently ongoing in a phase 2A in mild asthma, fully funded by the NIH that will report out at the beginning of 2016. We have that same drug in a pivotal phase 2B trial um, in COPD, COPD patients that are in smoking cessation programs. Uh, and we expect to have pivotal phase 2B results on that trial late Q2, early Q2, early Q3 2015. So we're, we're teeing ourselves up really for two major inflection points uh, in, in the company um, in the first and second quarter of next year. We're really excited about it. Sounds like business development is on steroids. Well, yeah, it's, uh, it's my job to partner our lupus asset and uh, to find people that are interested in our, in our lung drug. And um, there's no shortage of that. Lupus is a very hot market. Um, GSK got a drug approved about 18 months ago, which was the first drug, new drug approved in lupus in about 40 years. That's fantastic. Um, uh, UCB and, and Lilly have spent collectively about $2 billion developing two analog drugs to that. Lilly's drug just recently failed. Um, so there's a, a tremendous amount of interest in that sector. Um, and in our inflammatory lung disease programs, we're taking a, a drug which has historically been contraindicated for use in the lung and using it in the lung, um, which most pulmonologists find is counterintuitive and patently offensive. Um, but, but if it works, they can't say a word. Well, if it works, I have a feeling someone might be interested in a new class of compounds for uh, indications where there's only been two classes of compounds that have ever been approved. So, you know, we're optimistic, we're cautiously optimistic that if our phase 2B works, that we'll have some level of interest in, uh, in not only the company, but in also the, the compounds itself, themselves. So, we're at the end of 2014. Happy New Year, by the way. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> what do you see on the horizon 2015, and in your case, obviously 2016 well for the company or in general no, for the company uh, for the company I mean I think you know we'll have the results of our phase two in lupus probably at the end of the first quarter and our publicly positioned strategic mandate is to partner that asset and that's really my full-time activity um, and we will have pivotal phase two B data on our lead compound um, in the middle to early summer. Um, and I think if that result is positive and it ends in a phase 2B meeting with the US FDA, then we should expect you know, some level of significant price appreciation in the stock and a lot of partners that seem interested in the results of that data. Um, we're, we're also developing that same drug, 102, on an inhaled basis. Um, and we expect to be able to file an IND on that drug at some point during 2000, early 2015. We have another program which we didn't talk about, which is 104. It's a, a form of Zephyrocast, which is a, an anti-leukotriene for asthma that we will be developing the first inhaled form of. Uh, and we expect to be able to announce some very significant traction uh, on that drug and movement towards an IND during next year as well. Um, into 16, I mean, I think we'll be in a position to have um, potentially a drug, in, one drug in phase three, and two to three INDs on uh, on on our uh, inhaled program. So it's very exciting, a very exciting time with the company. Does anything qualify for acceleration from the feds? Uh, well, what we're doing is we're taking drugs that were previously approved. 
uh, and either reformulating them or putting them into different indications. So our inhaled formulations will likely follow some form of abbreviated regulatory pathway, um, but nothing that's uh, you know absolute speed to market. Let's finish off by giving out the website. It's inviongroup.com. Ladies and gentlemen, Seth Yakutin, Invion. It's a publicly traded company and the symbol is IVX on the ASX in Australia. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live. We're at the LD Micro main event in Bel Air, California, 2014. Seth, always a pleasure. Thank you, sir. You Thank you. It.